Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Hessel and this is my 1995 Miata. I thought I'd start with a bit of history on the car. My Miata started its life in Canada but spent most of its life in Germany with two ladies. I am now the third owner. I bought the car from a guy who imports them from Germany on a regular basis and I paid only 1700 euros for it. After I got most of the maintenance done as you can see in the previous videos I started driving it as a daily, but then came April 2018 and it was due for the Dutch MOT, also known as APK as we call it. Unfortunately, it failed. On the front suspension a few ball joints needed to be replaced, the handbrake wasn't strong enough to pass the handbrake test, one of the rear calipers was leaking brake fluid, and a side note was made for rust on the driver's side sill which would require attention in the future. And so it went back in the garage. For the front suspension I bought the lower ball joints, the tie rods and the tie rod ends. And for the rear suspension I decided to do a full rebuild. I also wanted to get rid of these hideous looking brakes. It wasn't really the color but more the way it was applied. And so I started taking everything apart. I did both sides simultaneously and worked top to bottom. I decided to keep the shocks and sway bar to save some cost. I started with taking off the brakes, then the upper swing arms. The half shafts came out with the wheel hubs because I couldn't yet get them separated. And right after also the lower swing arms came off. During the process of pressing out the remains of the old bushings, one of the holders cracked, so a very experienced colleague of mine made an identical piece out of a thicker piece of pipe and welded it in. It was spot on. After sandblasting the same holder on the opposite side of the car, I measured it to see how much loss of material there was due to the corrosion and test fitted my new Powerflex polyurethane suspension bush to see if there was any play. And there was none, so I decided the swing arms would be good for another round. So I sandblasted all four of them and gave them an anti-rust coating before they were painted in the company spray booth by the company painter. I thought he really did a nice job on them and I was really pleased with the way they turned out. The rear brakes were up next, especially that leaky caliper. So I sandblasted the calipers and brackets and painted them black using a RAID HP caliper paint kit in 2K. To get the small circ clips out from behind the pistons, I made a tool from a pair of scissors because the normal pliers would just not reach deep enough. For the calipers I used an OEM rebuild kit, for the brackets a new slider pin kit, grooved and slotted discs plus yellow stuff pads from EBC. Stainless steel braided brake lines from Goodrich and a new OEM rear brake hardline which connects the rear brakes. Even though I painted these by hand I thought they came out pretty decent. Because I now had a clear view of the rear subframe I thought I'd also remove as much rust around the mounting spots for the swing arms as possible. So I sanded it and painted over it by hand. For now this was good enough although I thought to myself well Maybe someday I'll just take out the rear subframe and get it powder coated or something. At least for now, I wouldn't have to mount my nicely rebuilt swing arms onto a rusty surface. Separating the wheel hubs from the half shafts took so much force that the outer joints of the half shafts had to be replaced. So I took the damaged ones off and replaced them with a new pair. Although these had ABS rings and mine didn't have ABS, that was no problem. Then it was time to take on the wheel hubs. After ordering a new pair of wheel bearings, I pressed out the old ones and again sandblasted the outer surfaces. To put the new bearings in, I used an induction heater. Of course I also had to paint these. I used the same caliper paint kit I had previously used on the brakes, only one for each hub as I put down multiple layers. I feel the process of painting is just really rewarding. The end result was two nicely rebuilt wheel hubs, which were also complemented with a new polyurethane suspension bush. After putting back the wheel hubs, I was also able to finally put my freshly rebuilt rear brakes back on the car. And compared to how it had looked before, it was quite the transformation. I also changed all the brake fluid in the system, and my mom actually helped me bleed the brakes in the driver's seat. After taking a closer look at the wheels, Especially the fronts, I noticed that somebody had spray painted 
directly over corrosion on the rims. And also the alignment must have been off, because the front tires had uneven wear. Looking at the remaining budget, I decided to get these rims powder coated, as this was much cheaper than buying a quality set of wheels. The color of choice was anthracite. I believe in English that's gunmetal grey? Anyways, the old front tires were replaced by a pair of Yokohama Advent R's, and I switched the old rear tires to the front. Well guys, so far the rear suspension setup. The front joints that still needed to be replaced were replaced by a friend of mine who happens to be a car mechanic and also owned two Miatas. After this was all fixed, it finally passed the Dutch MOT and I could also get it properly aligned. So, I hope you liked the video so far. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see the rest of the progress up till now, subscribe and you will get a notification when new content arrives. Next time I'm going to be addressing some engine related issues I experienced and preparing for some engine modifications as well. See you next time!